Well, I've got this Hoover Wind Tunnel 3 high performance with now uber clean cyclones. And let's go and test the particles. We'll go and do our first test with the HEPA filter with activated carbon. That just means a little black pad in there. And this machine appears to be from 2017, as best as I can figure at this point in time. So this is kind of a, a weird angle here, so that's why I'm going to tilt this thing over to try to get a decent reading. And away we go. Yeah, I think that qualifies as a uh, pretty darn good reading. So these HEPA filters work. All right, just for giggles, I thought we would test about one of the only other things we can test, where the plastic meets the rubber here. It's where the bin meets the piping. So it's going to be a little awkward for me, so uh, pardon the wobbliness. Let's see if we can detect any leakage out of here. Right, that's fine. Um, so we normally have around say 12 or 13,000 in my basement for, for this particular test and if this thing was leaking right here you would see oh maybe something in the tens if not hundreds of thousands. So bottom line is that that seal isn't leaking. So even if though uh, you happen to see you know five, six, seven, eight thousand from here you obviously can't make a, a very good seal right there but um, this does just fine. So this vacuum in general, um, and Mr. Rechtenwald here got this for uh, $20, I believe he said in an auction. I'm sure it needed a bit of a cleaning, and I think it's probably going to need a new belt. But other than that, this machine works very well, especially considering it's bagless. So if you don't mind that it's a little hard to push on certain types of flooring, might not be on yours, this thing would definitely be recommended. Thanks for watching.